Men är Abdo? You are not giving justice. How is that, Mr. Logical? Mr. Logical, he said, I'm not giving justice. How is that? Help me. Go ahead. What justice mean? Not giving justice. I'm showing a reference. I'm showing the numbers of the reference. I'm using Islamic web pages, Islamic books. And you are talking about justice? Everything I'm saying is justified. It's in front of you with proofs and reference. Who can explain the Quran better than Muhammad? Nobody. He is the one who brought it. And who can understand what Allah said more than Muhammad? Uh, you, you know, give him a chance to change his name. His name is a silly, stupid, but give him a chance to fix it. Any Muslim can answer? I'm giving fake hadith. Okay, here we go. So logical, look how logical he is. I'm showing the website, the Muslim website. I'm showing the name of the book. I'm showing the reference and he is saying I'm showing fake hadith and his name is logical <laughs> uh, I think you should have changed your name to something else Fake hadith. This is sunnah.com, owned by Muslims, run by Muslims, translated by Muslims, and I'm giving fake hadith. And this is the book of Sunan Abi Dawood. And this is the hadith number. And this is fake hadith, brother. Okay. This is exactly why Muslims leave Islam because. You know, they don't find any decent Muslim. He don't he dare to say the truth. You see, when somebody come to me and say, well, you know, the God of the Bible, he stopped the sun. I don't deny it. I say, yes, it says that. I do not need to make uh, fiction stories and uh, duct tape and hey, God, he is almighty. He can do whatever he want. How this is impossible. This is not nothing impossible for God. He can stop time. He can stop the whole universe. He can freeze the whole earth and we do not know for a million of years if you want. He's God. We as a Christians, when there is uh, somebody, he br bring an issue, we don't duct tape the issue. We believe in it. You Muslim, you duct tape because you're ashamed of it. You see, true believers will not duct tape. Is that correct, people? True believers will not duct tape. That's what it says. I believe in it. I don't care if you agree or not. You Muslims, because you know that your religion is a shameful cult, you'd love to duct tape. You think by duct tape you can fix it, but the hole is there. There's a big holes in the narrative. And this is the difference between us and the, between the pagan Muslims, black stone kissers. A Muslim, he come to a Hindu, a Buddha, a Christian, a Jew, everybody, they say to him, you are pagan, you are pagan. But they are the one who kisses stone. They are the one who believe a stone erase their sin. They are the one who go around the stone. And they are the one who pray in the direction of a stone. All your religion is based on stone. And then they claim that they are not pagan. Hmm? 
uh, Khalid Hussein, Arabian prophet, who in the earth would uh, right mind believe in anything which comes from you showing a screen? Nobody. No. Do, do you think Muslim they believe in it? No. This is why they deny it. You see, the Muslims, in order to protect their belief, which does not exist, which became an identity for them, they deny what we show on the screen. Because this is the truth, the truth hurt. So they don't want to see it, they don't want to look at it. The stone is running, the guy go, he burned Abraham, Gog and Magog, uh, David, Solomon, he have a flying carpet, can take uh, millions of soldiers, can carry, uh, have 650,000 chairs in the top of a flying carpet and all his army and his army is from from Jerusalem all the way to the end of Iraq this is the army of Suleiman all of them in the top of the corner of his roof which is in the top of the flying carpet and then they say to you you know, in, in order to, to avoid, oh, this is not a true story. Where you get the story from? This is a fabricated story. I agree, it's a fabricated story from your prophet who fabricated. It's your prophet who fabricated the story. Flying carpet, magical ring, controlling the demon. The demon, they die for him. And this is in the Quran now. The the the, the 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 that sorry not demon shaitan Muslim don't believe in demon. I mean this guy he have divers who they are satans. Really, they are good in diving, aren't they? The satan, huh, brother? They are builder and divers. Look at the specialty. Who build better houses than shaitan? I mean, how in the world he is a prophet of God and his employees are shaitan? This is, this is the book of God? Shaitans are divers? Welcome. You know, I wondering. I, in the other day, uh, once I went to the beach long time ago, brother. I saw a beautiful girl. She was doing Scooby Doo. See the word for it? Scooby Doo. What they call it? What they call it? Scooby. -Doo. Scooby Booby Doo Doo, Scooby Doo, Scooby Scooby Doo, you know what they call it? What they call it? Scooby diving, Scooby diving. Sorry, not Scooby Doo. Scooby is dog, the dog. Come on, cartoon. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. So she was diving uh, Scooby Doo. She was wearing a bikini, you know, haram, haram bikini, halal bikini, burkini. And now I noticed she was a shaitan. That's why she have weird, like you know, you know, she came from the water and she have something coming from her mouth. Like a pipe, you know, and there she have a glasses or something, you know, and then her legs. You should have see her legs. Man, she looked like a frog. She have something in her foot, you know, in her feet, and like one brum 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 brum, you know, brum 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 brum. And I was looking, you know, and then I said, you know, she is beautiful. Billah, I'm not going to look more because you know I will get tempted because she is beautiful, shaitan. So I said I'm not going to look, you know. And then she came from the water and she have lobster. Lobster is originally he's like from the lab and he was a star like he was a superstar somewhere in the you know in the ocean and then he was like in the lab because she is hugging him in her lap you know she have a big lap unbelievable you know and the boobs boom, the boobs is like boom boom so she uh, put the lobster who is from the lab in her lap and he is a star and she is carrying him and then she is shit on and then i ask her you work for who she said i work for Solomon. okay and then she said if you talk to me again I will call the police of Solomon, they will arrest you. Okay? I said, well, I'm not, uh, I was, I just asked a legitimate question. You know, I want to know you work for who? Do you have a license to 
do a, a scooby do fish, uh, fishing here, you know? And then she said to me, Allah knows best. So I said, okay, so now you are saying, you do not know if you have a fishing license or not? And the answer is, Allah knows best, I'm going to call the police. She said, you cannot call the police because I am the police. And then, you know, she said to me, put your hand behind the, you know? I said, no, I cannot put my hand behind, you know? You know? What about I put them in the front, you know? So I, you know, like, the story is very long. I'm not going to tell you the whole story because this is a true story, you know? What the heck is that? And the Muslims are talking about, and the guy, his name is Logical. His name is Logical. Shaitan died for him. And the one who disobey, he get arrested, brother. And they put him in a chain. Like, what the heck is that? Hard labor, you disobey Solomon, he put you in chain. If you don't work good, he put you in chain, okay? Like you stay 10 days in chain, for punish it for you. And there is no hummus for you. Put him in chain, and there is no hummus. And not only that, the stories like, you know, go crazy more, you know, especially when Solomon, he found that the, the, the general, the command general of his chicken army is missing. That story alone is different story, different level of sudden uh, sudden uh, fixing. You know, look, this is chapter twenty-seven, verse number twenty. And another occasion, Solomon inspected the birds. Army of chickens, and he said, "Why I don't see the hippo?" You know. Now you might you ask yourself, maybe you have some chickens. No, those are army. Look, read carefully, verse number 17, chapter 27. Host of the jinn and the human and birds were marched for Solomon. They are his army, chicken. And then Yasser Qadi, he is saying, People don't believe and they are leaving is now. I don't know what are you talking about, man. This is a very true story. Actually, I saw I saw I saw the chicken army. I saw it with my own eyes. You know? This is not a lie. So Salamun, brother, he uh, you know he uh, go, uh, give command. And you know the chicken, you know the like let me show you Salamon. This is a true story. Okay, hold on. Uh, here. Um, I'm I'm sure now the Kuffar, the Christians, they will get jealous because this is a true story. And here we go. This is Suleiman, brother. When he was young. This is when he was young, you know. So this is his army, and now he is, you know. Kins. Look, Allahu Akbar, and the chicken is coming and he's holding the sword. Let me let me show you. Hold on, the screen is black. Okay. So this is this is uh, 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 Solomon, and now he have like a billion chicken behind him, you know, and like he's okay. Takbir, you know, Allahu Akbar, Takbir, Jihad, Allahu Akbar, Shahada, you know, and you know he have a sword in his hand. You see the sword. Okay, so he go to do invasion, and then you know that he order he to give command. Look, Allahu Akbar! He, wow, endless numbers of chicken takbir. Wow, look at this! They are following him, and now they are occupying in the other area. So, brother, those are true stories. If you think if you have a suspicion that this is not true, never listen to the Christians. You know we get them busted. This is really true, and a pro, pro, it's a proven to be scientifically, you know? Don't listen to them. Yeah. But, you know, people, they say things, it's really not true. This is a true story. So, Suleiman, he have an army of birds, an army of a genie, 
an army of a human. And you know, just think, uh, you know, think about it. How many of us wish to have army of a chicken? Just think about it. Just think about it for a second. Be honest with yourself. All of us, we wish to have an army of a chicken. Your mother-in-law, she come to visit you. You order all the rooster to attack her. Pop, 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 pop. She will never come back to you again. And then the Muslim, he speak about logic. And he speak about God. How God can be a man? Yeah. How God can be a man? Because he's God, he can be whatever he want. Now tell me how, how this Solomon, he have an army of a chicken. And he was invading who with him, with them? Did you hear Yasser Qadi in the previous video? He said that Allah he will send an army of camels or they are fly, flying camels. Did you hear it? When he spoke about Gog and Mago? So Allah he will send an army of a flying camels. So it's not a flying horses only now. We have a flying camels who they will grab those Gog and Magog and they will throw them in the sea, brother. In Islam, even camels they fly. This is remind me of my cousin. He was uh, doing hunting with my other cousin, you know, Abdul with Abdul. And then the first Abdul, he said to the second Abdul, he said, do you see that goat under the tree? The other Abdul, he said to him, this is not a goat, this is a bird. The first Abdul, he said to the second Abdul, you stupid, this is the goat. The second Abdul, he said to the first Abdul, listen carefully, you want to bet that this is a bird, not a goat? He said, okay, we will bet. He said, okay, we will shoot at it. If it is a fly, it's a bird. If it doesn't, it's a goat. He said, okay. So they shot at it, and then it fly. So the second Abdul, he said, see, I told you it's a bird. The first Abdul, he said to him, <laughs> it's a bird, it's a goat, even if it is a fly. And this is the Muslim logic. Even if it is a fly, it is a goat. It is not a bird. I mean, where? what's wrong with the Quran? There's nothing wrong. Look, this is true. What's wrong? He have an army of a chicken, so what? This is very normal. Flying carpet, so, you know, and not only that, Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds, but yet Suleiman, he can understand the ants. What the heck? We taught Suleiman the speech of the birds. So Suleiman, he don't, like, you know, when he communicate with his army, the birds, like, translation where the heck you been man i was waiting for you so did we do the attack like five minutes ago didn't i tell you that you have to use the tnt and c4 when i count to 10 oh, okay so you are saying that the battery is is you know is it that that uh, will not work why you did not change the charge the battery before we do the thing? You know, you know the thing. So the guy he been taught the language of the birds, and then he walk in the valley of the ants. This is the name of the chapter. The ants. Look, look. The name of the chapter is the ants. He walk in the valley of the ant, and one of the ants she said to the other ants, "Hide, otherwise Suleiman will crush you." I mean, look at this Suleiman, brother. He can focus in one ant at a time. I mean, there's billions of ants. But he was able to make his ear, you know, specifically receive the, like, you know, the signal of uh, the voice of one ant, you know? So, like, he listened, and then he started laughing, <laughs> you know? Because the ant, she said to the other ant, uh, you know, okay, uh, we have to hide, otherwise Solomon will uh, crush you, okay? And by the way, this is a true story. Look, look, I mean, those Christians, they lie to you, they say a lot of things are true. The Quran is a true book for sure. Look at this story, beautiful, beautiful story. 
chapter 27 verse number 18 brother Solomon was once on the move with them until they reached the valley of the ants you see there's a valley of California there's a valley of Las Vegas there's a valley but there's a valley of ants very well known there's nobody there, there except ants nobody's allowed actually ants only it says a big sign ants only so your so your identification you know so when he arrived to the valley of the ants one of the ants said that's deep look look allah is focusing in one of the ant he wrote down one of the ants said write it write it this is very cute <laughs> write it i'm going to put it in tiktok you know allah is uh, making a short video for tiktok so one of the ants said oh ants you see notice here by the way the ant she did not say ants she said oh ants do you know do you know why it says oh ants like <clears throat> you know the song it says oh mommy oh mommy mommy blue oh mommy blue this is the same because it's like became like more attention, like, you know, tension, 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 you know, in French, you know, tension Bardatino in Italian. So here, oh, and, like, oh, what the heck? Like, oh, what the, what? So, uh, oh, ants, get into your holes. Which holes? Shame on you, show respect. What do you mean holes? Do you mean holes in the narrative or holes? Unbelievable. Dirty, dirty language, dirty language. I cannot believe it. So, O oh, ants, get in your holes. Let Solomon and his host the crush you. What is killing me in the story, not how stupid the story, but how in the world she knew that his name is Solomon, brother. I mean, she is an ant. In the valley of the ant. We got it. How in the world she was able to know that his name is Solomon, Any Muslim? I mean, oh, it's, uh, come on, it's obvious. Solomon at that time was very famous. You know, all those ants, they have cell phone, TikTok, you know, Hick Hawk, Bing Bong, you know, like all those stuff, you know, kimchi, you know, like even when you buy kimchi, like, you know, this Korean food, it says uh, Solomon kimchi, you know, Solomon kimchi or Solomon beef. You know, uh, Solomon, uh, 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 very famous, very, uh, his name is everywhere, you know. So, this aunt, she saw a guy, is very good looking. Uh, he don't look like me for sure, I'm more good looking, you know. Uh, but, I, but I don't want, I, I'm very humble, I don't want to talk about how good, you know, very, very, very good. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I lost my voice because God, he told me when you lie, I will make you lose your voice. Hold on, let me drink water. Okay, God, I will not lie again. Okay, forget about the last one. <laughs> so, last Solomon and his host crush you. Look at the word crush you, brother. How many times of all of us we remember the crush cola? Like, you know, crush cola. You know, you drink it, you feel you are being crushed. This is exactly what, this is how it feels for those ants when they saw Solomon. So, she warned all the ants, and all the ants they start hiding because at that time there's no insurance you know like now you have insurance you break your hand you break your leg you know somebody step on you you can fix it but at that time there's no insurance you know so the ants they have to hide it because there's no solution that's it so then when he step on you you are in trouble and so very heavy i mean this guy he eat like a mule so you know and then you know brother uh, uh, allah he said this is the good story to write for the muslims because this is a wonderful story. They are a bunch of kids, and now it's bedtime story. <laughs> this is religion, this is God. This is God talking. And then the stupid Yasser Qadi, he says that our youth are leaving Islam because such a fat tales. All your Quran is tales, you buddy. What this guy is, look, look at this, look, look, he is staring down. 
Yeah, they are leaving Islam because of those tears, brother. Question to doubt. I myself have met people that have actually left Islam because of these types of tales. No way, come on. Come on, let us be serious. First of all, those are true stories. And I, me, myself, I was witnessing for them. It's like the election of Joe Biden. It's very true, Alexan. He was he winning, you know, all the time. He went, look at him, he's genius. I mean, it's obvious he will win wherever he go, you know, that's guy. But Lucy and Lucy, Biden. I mean, look at this idiot we have, you know. If those, they can be president. I mean, Muhammad can be a prophet. Very easy, very simple. Because things can happen, you know, things very can happen, very possible, very possible, you know. So, and then they say to you, it doesn't say that CP. Yeah, you are giving fake uh, uh, hadith and fake website. Uh, logical, uh, I'm going to give you a fake ban, okay? So don't be upset, okay? It's fake, it's fake. There we go. I just banned you. But it's a fake ban, don't worry about it. You know, don't worry, be happy. Hmm. This is religion? This is God talking? Me. And look, look, look. There's a this chapter in the Quran is called Chapter Saud. Saud is a letter. Have you ever heard of a, ch of a chapter have a name of the name of a chapter is a letter? Letter. Letter S. What the heck is that, Saud? What the heck is that? How in the world? And look, this guy. He decided to talk. He said, Saud. But Saud is a letter. Here you read it in English. It says, Suhad. Suhad is the name of a woman. This is not what uh, Saud is, an, is a letter. And then, I swear by the Quran. This is like, you know, the Buddhist monk. I swear by the Quran. What the heck? Allah swear by the Quran? What the heck is that? This God is swear by the Quran. The Muslims, I'm getting dizzy, seriously. Sod, and I swear by the. Hold on, I have to focus more. I'm, I'm I'm losing my focus lately because you know since I heard that the Muslim they get married to watermelon, I, I cannot you know, because I ate a lot of watermelon. So I'm, it it come to me from my time to time like what I did to myself. I was eating watermelon. When Muslim, what they do, they make a hole in it and they what? What the heck? I don't want to think about it. Please, please, please. I know I have like I need to see a doctor since then. You know, I'm I'm, I'm under a lot of stress. I mean, those people, they, they, they nothing, nothing, nothing is safe from their hand, even if uh, water may not be So, I swear by the Quran, full of admission, what the heck of this book is about? Someone is crazy making it. Any Muslim? Uh, what is the heck is this? We would not even start yet. It's just the first two hours. How many people will leave Islam after they're watching this? Hmm? So, did you did you watch ever like uh, those uh, Buddhist uh, priests? Mm. Oh. Ah, Allah, you know. So. I swear. Well, why Allah he swear? How Allah he swear? And how he, what, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck swear mean? And Allah swearing to who? Do we have a boss? I mean, I swear to God because He have authority over me. Allah swearing to who? This religion is really crazy, man. Make you knowledgeable and make you love. Yeah, there's a connection between knowledge and love, you know. Like as an example, before before I got knowledge to see myself in the mirror, I wasn't laughing. <laughs> the second I saw myself in the mirror, 
I start laughing. So I got your point now. When you said, I, you know, I got uh, knowledge and I laugh. You got a point, sister, a brother, sorry. Are you sister or brother? No problem, whatever you have. So, yeah, like I have no knowledge. Then I got knowledge about myself. I look at the mirror and I start laughing. What the heck is that? You know, and this is why I wanted to become an atheist because I said, no way, God, he created this, you know. Uh, yeah, true story. So, nay, those who disbelieve are in self exhalation and opposition. What the heck is that? Any Abdul? Who is swearing? Allah swear by the Quran? Any Muslim have an objection? <clears throat> Anyone? I am sound like Fred Atrash. No, Fred Atrash, he don't sound like this. He sound like this. Uh, I mean, this guy, the Arab, they like his voice. But when you listen to him, you think somebody died. Drama, you know? What the heck is that? And the Arab, they are dancing. Why? I have no idea. Anyway. <clears throat> so do we have any Muslim here? Where is the Muslims? Any Muslim have an objection? He agree, disagree. What the heck is that? Anyone knows this guy, Fred Atrash? The funny is, his last name is Def, and he's a singer. <laughs> I mean, uh, Middle East is full of stuff, by the way. You know, like, we are really, we are really something. Like, the guy, his last name is Def, and he's a singer. No, he, no wonder he don't hear himself. Okay. <clears throat> Any Abdul? You are dancing to my singing. Uh, I don't think you are dancing to my singing. You are dancing because we were talking about the ants and there is an ant in your pant. Think about it. Imagine those ants who really bite. I mean, there's some ants, they are so small, but when they bite you, unbelievable. You know? So, like, you are now in the valley of the ant and you sit down somewhere, you made a mistake. And now there is an ant in your pant and you blame me for dancing. In fact, you are dancing from pain. We got you. <clears throat> Any Abdul? And by the way, the ant in your pant was a verse in the Quran and that uh, the goat ate it. <laughs> And the Quran and the Quran preserved. <laughs> I mean, this is the preserved Quran. Thank God the God did not eat those chapters. I, I would be so upset, you know, because, you know, uh, and the funny is that this is supposedly the true, truthful, truthful Quran. If this is the truthful Quran, what the garbage Quran is? <clears throat> But you know, there is a story which is really uh, give me some emotion. Really true, a true story. I love it. You know, always I look at monkeys down and I don't respect them, you know, because yeah, monkeys, you know, I mean, uh, monkeys, come on. Their ass is red and weird, you know, weird stuff, you know. But then I found a story which is amazing that monkeys are true believers and they practice Sharia law. Look at this monkey. And now I respect them. I thought monkeys, like female monkeys, they sleep around and they do, you know, like, you know, monkey stuff. Like, you know, monkey, monkey. So, and then it turned to be that monkeys are Muslims and they believe in Allah. Look, during the pre-Islamic of ignorance, the Muslims, they think they are not ignorant. People before them, they are the ignorant. Listen carefully. I saw a she monkey. Notice here, it's a she. You see, there's a monkey and there's a she monkey. 
connect them together they will make a female monkey okay I don't know how slow you are but I'm assuming that all of you are slow and I'm the only one who is very fast here you know okay so now we can don't uh, I'm not insulting you by the way I'm just being humble okay so now she is a she she monkey surrounded by a number of monkey like <laughs> you know monkeys are surrounded around you know she, that's it you can escape they were stoning it because she had committed illegal sexual intercourse brother I too stoned it along with them look 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 it turned to be that this Muslim himself is a monkey too otherwise why you are there <laughs> how the monkey allow you to join them in stoning <laughs> brother a monkey committing sexual intercourse illegally brother Haram, 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 haram. See, they are practicing the law of Allah and they are Muslims. And actually this is proven in the Quran. The Quran says that Allah, he gave all animals the book too and they have Quran. Yeah. Read, read. Here we go, the Quran. Chapter 6, verse number 38, brother. And there is no animal that walk upon the earth, no bird that flies with two wings. I was worried that there is because, you know, <clears throat> there's some birds, they have three wings. Anyway, uh, they are general like you, yourself. We have not neglected anything in the book. Then, to their Lord they will be gathered. So the Quran teach, the Muslim teach, that uh, uh, animals, they've been given Quran too. Birds. Bak, 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 bak. And in the judgment day, Allah will gather them for punishment. Mm -hmm. Daughter of God, I am late. How long has been? We just started. What are you talking about? We are just here. 30 seconds ago Allah he just sat in the chair you know he was in the earth and then he you know the arsh is to us so he went up to the scale you know and he sat down we just started what are you talking about don't worry be happy guys don't tell her because if we tell her I don't know she's a she's a female yeah if we tell her she might do something wrong you know those females they have nails you tell her that he was here for the last three hours nails will be activated Aggression will be in ready, and Allah knows best what will happen next. So when you see a female, you know this is why the Muhammad he says you have to lie to your wife. I mean Muhammad he knew what he's talking about. It's allowed to a man to lie to his wife. Why? Think about it. She have nails. She have shoes, high heels. All weapon is ready to use and abuse. Anyway, so I seek refuge by Allah from those females, brother. Do we have any Muslim? He is fast. CP never get us. Board? You want to be in the board? You know, Lisa, I'm going to hire you. I will put you in the board of non-educated. <laughs> you will be the boss, okay, from now on. You will be charging. Let's just take a class. All right. Hey, Muslims, anyone here? I mean, all the madness we just showed you, nobody have a comment? No Muslims have a disagree? Uh, they, all what they say to me, it doesn't say that, CP. <clears throat> I'm going to take a bath and watch later. Help me. Punish me, the angel. My friend Dreamers, are you going to give us more information? Why don't give us the name of the shampoo you want to use, the soap and the water? Do you have a towel? Come on, my guy. You know, you want to go to the shower. What do you need to tell us? You want to take a bath. You want to tell us that he is clean. You see the point? Ah, you're trying to put me down because I'm an Arab. I take a shower once a year. <laughs> Good luck for you. You know, I'm very clean too. I'm very clean. You know, actually, I did my annual shower last uh, shower. You know? Good luck. Good luck in your shower. Be careful to lock the door. 
because your mother-in-law she might show up anytime <laughs> and then bye bye to you <laughs> she will bring the radio put it in the electric uh, you know she said the my son-in-law don't you want to learn some music you know send to learn, hear some music when you are in the bath and then she throw the radio in your bathtub <laughs> and bye bye you know she will collect your insurance she will find the brand new husband to her her daughter who need you anymore okay i'm just letting you know what will happen i can see the future do we have any Muhammad in here? Hmm? <laughs> no Muhammad and that's it? Hmm. Flying carpet. Chair of Allah. And you know the story when Solomon he died standing is the best. I love this story. Actually, I am planning from now that if one day I die, I want to die when I'm uh, like online. And I will hold the stick. I have a stick next to me. You know, I don't know if you can see it. You can't see it. You're blind anyway. Yeah. So, you know, because you are Christians, you know, Christians, Jews, Hindus, you're blind. Muslims only can see things. So, uh, you know, uh, when Solomon, he died, uh, Allah wanted to conceal that his death. He don't want anyone you know, to know that he died. So what he did, he made them all think that he's alive because he was home. <laughs> I better go. Otherwise, this is endless. <laughs> the guy died standing and nobody noticed for a year. Brother, it's true story. Allah story, you know. A year, the guy is dead. He's a king. The army soldiers, the generals, his the guy he have seven hundred wives. Nobody, brother, notice that he is dead. Very normal. Very normal. Nobody notices. You don't go to the bathroom. You don't eat. You don't sleep. You don't have sex. Nobody, you know. Normal, normal, because he's holding a stick. And... And then they say to you, like, you know, the Christianity is not logical. How God can be a man? This is not logical. You know, most of them are people of logic. I mean, logic is dripping wherever you go. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Actually, uh, Sheikh Omad, he made a video about it. You can go watch it on his channel. About how Suleiman, he died standing. Very funny. Yeah. Unbelievable, very beautiful, very beautiful. Army chicken dying standing, you know. Yeah, all right. I think we have enough for today. Uh, the one who did not watch the video about uh, it is not showing in my channel, but if you go to Patreon, you can click at the link and you can see it and download it. All right. Can you show that Allah is not all-knowing? We just judge, I mean, so what we are showing you for the last three hours, man? I mean, all this garbage and Allah is knowing? <laughs> all this garbage and Allah is knowing? All the madness we just showed you, and you are asking me to show you that Allah is not all-knowing? <laughs> That's a good one. So what we were doing for the last... We were laughing and dying laughing. <laughs> what was the uh, verse? You like the vola us, don't you? I mean, you guys are really, do you have a dirty mind, don't you know? I mean, I'm going to tell your mom about, about you. Vola us. I mean, bad boys and you know, those kids. You can't trust men these days. All what they want to see, I mean, from the whole Quran, you just want to see the vola uh, potatoes. Uh, you know, boo. Look, look, she just, you know, because this is about boobs. So Allah, He wanted to use like a Greek word. You know, do you, do you, do you know the, the game like volleyball, volleyball? Because this is exactly what you would do. They are big and they are round, and you will do volley and oh, whoa, and to us. Like, you know, like those boobs are coming to us, all of us, you know, not the females for sure, only for men. So, 
volo obo you know uh, us or tas was was you know so volo tas Allah will give you big boobs and they are very uh, volubatasin and this is like you know this is kind of a medicine for all men you know men like when they see volubatotos they like uh, relax you know like Oof, finally you know we saw that uh, it's like a, you know yeah the true story so the you know the god is a true god allah is a true god and he will give you women with big boobs and this is additional proof that he is true god because if he is not true god he will give you women with small boobs you know just think about it there's big god small god big god he give big boobs small god he give you small boobs because he's uh, you know his ability is limited you know so the god of all quran the one who will promise us and look and you will have a pure cup wow and the, you know and then this uh, uh you know and it will have a, a viney a viney yard and garden very beautiful very beautiful in the heaven all right and uh, you know you will uh, you will have a bracelet you will have a couch you will have a pillow all of us will like to have pillow you know do you know the prime minister of israel his name is pillow netanyahu why they call him pillow netanyahu because simply the israeli they dream to have pillows so when he won the election he was his name is benjamin so they decided to change his name because the jews they want to be like a, a like prophet muhammad you know they want to be in his heaven so they said we are going to change his name from benjamin netanyahu bb to uh, 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 you know uh, below and uh, velabatos uh, uh, okay i hope that conversation is very clear and you are not more confused and now we solve all your problems all right any other thing yeah um, <clears throat> so i mean you know i think all the stories in the quran are uh, true stories and now i i hope after people watch this video they will convert to islam by tens of thousands thousands not thousands you know, the, like those uh, rich people, is thousands, like thou, I mean, <laughs> funny, you know, go learn English. It is thousands, thousands. It's more nice and smooth, thousands, thousand, you know. So the, uh, I hope a lot of thousands, they will convert to Islam because Islam is very convincing, true stories, no fixing, you know. Uh, there's only erection, no fixing, okay, erection, like you see the boobs erection the private part erection you see allah even when allah he raised people from death do you remember the guy his name abu, abu what his name mufti abu layth mufti abu layth do you remember when he saw the hadith where it says allah will ejaculate and he will resurrect people from his ejaculation which is going to come from under his throne I mean, even their God, he ejaculate. And he resurrect people from death by ejaculation. <laughs> and then the guy, he put an umbrella on the top of his head. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, where is the video of this guy? I don't want to show it. Actually, it's part of our, uh, our, uh, our intro. Uh, when you see this guy here, he opened the umbrella. This is part of his video. When he heard that Allah will do ejaculation, where is the part of the video? Here we go. See, he opened the umbrella and he put it in the top of his head because he saw the hadith about Allah doing ejaculation and he will resurrect people by his sperm. Make a video on Hindu logic and believe. Yeah, you see, I wish I can use the videos of uh, Sad Guru, but discovered he flagged me right away. I made one, he flagged me. What we can do from time to time without using his videos. Or I can use his videos, but I will not post it on YouTube. Because this coward who keep talking about, let us accept each other. I'm Sad Guru. I will teach you how to be happy. Yes, my name is Sad. And this is why I can teach you how to be happy. <laughs> Relax. Let us fight the bad energy learn how to accept each other why you get upset when somebody spoke against what you believe or he don't agree with you try to control the negative energy try to accept the person in front of you this is the beauty of the yoga and then i made a video showing how stupid he is 15 minutes after he reported me to, pay, to, to youtube 
And when you see this camp, he spent the day talking about accepting each other, controlling the bad energy, accept that you are not always right. And if somebody speak negative about you, don't talk, don't be upset. And you know why? Why we have no peace in this earth? Because we don't accept, uh, you know, we accept only ourselves. We And then suddenly I made a video about him. He reported me to YouTube. What a potato, you know? This His real name is really Sad Guru. His real name is Sad Guru. This guy, he say things, he do the opposite. He's a fraud. Yeah, I'm going to make a channel. I will make my I will call myself Happy Guru. What do you think, guys? First, whoever watch our video, he, you know, he died laughing, right? <coughs> I have a good sense of hammer. <laughs> I, I hammer everybody with it. Why we can <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry, my throat <coughs> is dry <coughs> mm, man, I hope the sound did not bother you. I get some water now. uh somebody saying make a video about why we can eat pork. Uh, my friend, uh, the first question is why you cannot eat pork? Then you understand why you can eat pork. So, uh, you know, the Bible is a book. It's not a verse. It's not a statement. And there is stages between God and the man. Just to make it simple for you, I'm not going to make a special video about it for now, just to answer you. <coughs> so, God in the beginning, when he created Adam and Eve, the children of Adam, they married their sisters, correct? But isn't it, this is an incest? Yes, it is. This is what incest is. Sex in the family. But it wasn't wrong. So what is wrong is, is when there is a time and there is a law connected to the time. That law, which is connected to the time, make things either lawful or unlawful. So God, he made a covenant with the children of Israel. And the children of Israel is not us. This is number one. Number two, when God, he gave the Jews orders, he gave them for their benefit, fit with their time. As an example, when God, he ordered them not to work in Sabbath. <coughs> uh, Jesus, he said, Sabbath is what was made for the man, not the man was made for Sabbath, which mean the man is the important, it's not the Sabbath. So Sabbath made for the man because the Jews, they were greedy and they work, and until now, most of them, they still, they work seven days a week and they don't want to, want to make more money. And that make even their employees or servants, they work hard and they don't take a break. So God forced them to take a break. So they don't even abuse their servants. So the Sabbath was made for the man, not the man made for Sabbath. And the same for food. When God, he forbid the food, he forbid it for a reason. If the reason is not there, he will not forbid it. If we go in time, we will see, it depend in the, like now, even now, you know, depend where you grow, the animals. Animals, they can bring disease. Chicken, they have diseases. Cow, they have diseases. Dangerous diseases. Uh, swine, they have diseases. Human, they have diseases. So all the creatures, they have diseases. But pigs, because they eat anything, including dead bodies. So the pigs who run in the field, and they come back, <clears throat> and they then they, they you know they slaughter them and they eat them. Those are can be dangerous. Those are not clean because they are eating even a human being. In the old days, you know, they have war, they leave bodies in the, in the field by thousands. Who is going, what would happen to those bodies? Animals would eat them, beasts, and pigs, they would eat them too. So pigs, there is a reason to forbid it. But if the reason is not there, <clears throat> uh, 
it is not a reason anymore you know so what what the Bible is speak about the, the pork <coughs> that God he made a covenant with the children of Israel and we are not part of the covenant if God he says to us as a Christians who they are not from the children of Israel don't do this and don't do that then we have an obligation to obey even if it's just a law I mean even if it is not uh, for any reason God said so you know so the first the law is made for the Jews not for us uh, and this is why even circumcision the, the the disciple of Jesus agree that this was a covenant made to the Jews not for non you know Jews only for the Jews the children of, of, of Abraham so and we are not from the children of Abraham uh, so there is a reason for everything and Jesus said it's not what goes inside your mouth make you dirty but what come out from your mouth so simply uh, the dirty here is about uh, spiritual dirt or let us say you are not pure enough to practice your religion because of food <clears throat> but Jesus showed them that this is wrong you have you understood the reasoning wrong it is not the food will make you dirty it was not made for the benefit of God it was made for the benefit of the man so what go inside your mouth can make you sick <clears throat> but that doesn't make you dirty it can may even cause you to die but doesn't make you dirty so the dirt here is what you say from your mouth which means the language you speak the word you say the lie you make uh, uh, bad things you spread that is dirt for God it's not the food uh, when the Bible speak about any clean simply it is any clean and nowhere actually even in the New Testament it says that go and eat pork it doesn't say anywhere it go eat pork but what the New Testament said that uh, uh, all food is legit <coughs> legitimate <coughs> and a human being when we say all food you have to decide what is right for you what's wrong as an example are you going to eat cats there's nowhere in the Bible you know it says cats specifically or dogs specifically it describes certain animals who have like a certain kind of teeth or the way they eat so their food decide what you can eat or not but you decide like where, where in the Bible it says you can eat shrimp but people eat shrimp Muslims eat shrimp nobody's check if it's halal or not right uh, where in the Bible it says or in the Quran it says you cannot eat uh, uh, let us say what they call it like lobster you know the seafood you know <clears throat> the Muslims they have a hadith about their about fish but the Quran nowhere it says that you can eat it or don't eat it so a human being you know he you know you have a brain and anything is not mentioned to you to be forbidden then you have to decide if you can eat it or not but the pork specifically many people they make a big issue of it because they are empty <clears throat> the Muslim they don't eat pork but they drink the, the they drink the piss of the camel and they eat the camel but isn't it the Bible forbid the camel eating so how the Muslim they speak about pork but they forgot that the Jew has been forbidden to eat camel they've been forbidden to eat camel to drink even the milk of the camel to eat its meat or anything of it and Muslim they eat camel right so you know Muslims when they question this issue they are being hypocrite and again for us as a Christians the logic as Jesus said it's not what go inside your mouth will make you dirty and I agree you know you eat chicken chicken eat shit literally literally chicken eat shit chicken eat worms do you eat worms you know what I mean so if somebody want to try to be smart then then we cannot eat anything because the chicken they eat the dirt they eat cockroaches they eat insect is insect clean is a fly clean you know what I mean guys 
any of you have a have a chicken or you live in a village you will know that the chicken they eat insect if they see cockroach this is their best meal they will eat it right away but is a cockroach is a, is, is something clean isn't isn't it those uh, who you know go in the sewage in the sink and you know and the toilet seat and nobody get upset and no Muslim says we don't eat chicken if uh, uh, if you have a you know if you live in a village and you know they, they let their uh, children in the yard without diver the boy he make poopoo -poo. do you know what the chicken do they eat it they fight over it this is like their cake it's like it's a party time it's literally shit isn't it shit is a fertilizer <laughs> isn't it shit is a fertilizer correct or, or i'm lying isn't it all the Muslims in the Middle East, in Pakistan, in Afghanistan, in Bangladesh, they use shit to fertilize their, their vegetables? Which means their vegetables is eating shit? Uh, CP does not understand? No, my friend, I understand. Uh, but that will, that will not change anything. We are talking about what is clean, what is dirty. We are talking about what is clean and what is dirty. <clears throat> so when God He forbid things, He forbid it for the benefit of the man, for his health. It's not because uh, when when God He says it's not clean, it's not clean for you. Otherwise, there's nothing that's not clean for God. I mean, He is the one who made them. If there's anything can make God dirty? The answer no. So when God He speak about things is not clean, they are not clean for you, and they are not healthy. And until now, actually, pork, uh, you know, is not really healthy. It's tasty. It's a food you can survive with it, but it's not the best food to eat because pork, because pigs, they don't they don't sweat which means there's a certain kind of poison inside their meat. They are not totally free of, uh, of bad, uh, you know, minerals. Uh, so they are not really the best food to eat, but you can eat them. It's not healthy, but there's many food you eat is not healthy too. And what you say to a person who's poor, he want to survive. You know all uh, all the uh, all the surgeries in the world is uh, the stitches is made by pork. The stitches, the fabric, is made from uh, from pigs. Because the, the human uh, tissue don't accept any fabric to to make a stitch with it except except the the, the pork. So they can stay for long. So. A pork is very useful. So when it's useful, it's useful. When it's not, it's not. And you decide what is good for you or is not. Somebody saying at what age Mary she was married to uh, Joseph. Uh, my friend, it doesn't matter. Mary, when she gave birth to Jesus, obviously she is a woman. Why? Because a child cannot give birth. And whatever the age after that, she was a woman because he married a woman. Does it really matter? We don't have numbers. Nobody have numbers about the age of Mary. There is traditional books, but those are not, you know, trustworthy. Our book is the Bible. Anything else is not our book. <coughs> Frozen brain crops is God yeah Faisal you know the the your God is the one who is a frozen brain and this is why he ordered you to drink camel urine and the frozen brain of your prophet made him think that the Jews are uh, lizard uh, and and rats why because they don't drink uh, she milk ca milk the camel milk you see the frozen brain this is how stupid your prophet and here you see actually how conservative the Jews. Muhammad he confirmed with his stupidity uh, that even rats 
are more conservative than Muslims. Muhammad, he claimed, I don't know, the website is not working to show you the hadith. Muhammad, he claimed that he was observing the rats and he noticed that rats don't drink the she camel milk. It says there is no connection. I don't know why the website is crushed. We will try again later. Okay. Yeah. So Muhammad, he noticed that rats don't eat and drink anything from the camel. And because of that, Muhammad, he come to a conclusion that they are Jews or they are cursed by Allah. And this is telling you how stupid Muhammad is. But at the same time, this is telling you that Muhammad, he learned how conservative the Jews are. They don't eat camel. Muhammad, he eat camel. So how the Muslim, they say, why you Christians, you don't obey God. He forbid you not to eat pork. Where they get that from? From the Old Testament, right? But this is not an order for us. It was for the Jews. So why the Muslim don't follow God order for the, the, the Jews and they eat camel and they drink the camel milk? Look at this hadith. I found it. <clears throat> this is the smart frozen brain Muhammad. Are you there, Faisal? Read and laugh. The Prophet says a group of Israeli were lost. Nobody knows what they did. But I do not see them except that they were caused and changed into rats. Huh. Smart Muhammad, the frozen brain, the idiot. One more stupid story. For if you bit, put milk of a sheep camel in front of a rat, it will not drink it. But if you put a sheep milk, it will drink it. So here you see actually the stupid Muhammad proven to be false. Uh, camel milk is harmful. Healthy, it's not. Scientifically proven. Go right now to United Nations. Search for warning against camel milk. It is the most bad milk to drink. Camel meat, it is very unhealthy. Tons of dangerous viruses can live in the camel. So even rats are smarter than Muhammad. Even rats are smarter than Muhammad. Rats, they refuse to eat and to drink anything coming from the camel. And because of that, Muhammad, he thought that they are Jews. Do you see it? And let me tell you something. Animals, they can sense things. Animals, they can sense things. And now imagine a rat which is dirty. I mean, this is a rat. Yet he don't drink the she camel milk. So the rat don't accept the drink, the she camel milk, and Muhammadan, they drink it. A rat, he refrained from drinking such a milk for a reason. You see, animals, they can see things, they can smell things. If somebody put poison for you, give the milk to the cat. The cat will not drink it. If the food is damaged, you want to see if it's damaged or not? You have a, you have food in your fridge. Put some to the cat. If the cat refuses to eat it, it means the food is damaged. And here we see the stupidity of this man. Suddenly he decided that those Jews are rats, cursed by God, and he made them rats. Why? How he proved that? They don't drink she camel milk. This is how stupid this so if the Muslim they want to say well how come the Old Testament say this and you don't do that well don't you Muslim you say that Musa was sent to the Jews are we the Jews here you see the double standard and the stupidity and look what the Quran says that even Israel Allah did not give him anything to forbid to himself. He forbid things to himself by himself. All the food was lawful to Israel. <clears throat> All the food. And this is Quran. Chapter 3, verse number 93. All food, 
was lawful to Israel. And look, the Muslim here, they add things. I mean, what Muhammad? What the heck is that? I mean, the Muslim translation is the biggest scam ever. What Muhammad here? What Muhammad have to do with this verse? What a scam. All food was lawful to the children of Israel. Do you see it? Except what Israel made unlawful to himself. before the Torah question why Allah did not forbid the Jews from eating pork before the Torah do you see what I'm talking about if the pigs are bad and the, and the Jews at that time they were Muslims Israel according to Muhammad is a Muslim this is Isaac this is Jacob so why Allah did not forbid Jacob and the people not to eat pork? The verse is so clear. All food was lawful. So if it was not, if, if pork is bad, then it should be pork bad all the time based on the Muslim idea. Why it was okay? What happened? But the stupid Muhammad, he copied stories from the Torah and he added it in his book. Didn't know why. You see, when uh, when uh, in the time of Moses, all of us we knew that Moses uh, he 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 did lead a, a nation from from territory to a territory, and that will bring diseases, that will bring chaos, that will bring people living in camps. Uh, you know, tens of thousands they are in the in the in the desert. So the rules was given for them to survive the moment they are living do, do you understand me to the point even Moses he told them how far they have to go from the tent or the inhabitants to do their bathroom thing I mean what does this have to do with God nothing but this is just for surviving so those rules came for a reason so they can survive so they will not die they are out of their land they are in the run, they are in the desert, they are lost, there is no enough water, and now we have to organize for them how they can live, not to die. So you need to understand when the law was given, why it was given. Their life was not normal. You know, people, they think that those people, they were living in apartments. Everybody have a flowers in his yard. And uh, there is a shower and bathroom. And everybody have a kitchen. This is not the story. This is the whole nation took their stuff over donkeys and they run in the, de in the desert. Do you understand? So, when God, he gave commands every command he gave he gave it for a reason including the sabbath if we go right now if all of us like now we are 700 people and suddenly we don't have houses god forbid and now we are living in a mountain area there is one leader have to lead and he have to organize otherwise it's going to be messed up there's men, there's women, there's children. We have to put rules, otherwise the strong will eat the weak. Otherwise, the, 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 uh, there's, a, there's a person who likes to be nude. There's a child molester in town. There's a criminals, there's thieves. So, Moses was not a, just a prophet. He was a leader in the charge of saving a nation. And the command he was given or he gave, because there's some command he gave as a leader and there's command he received either one of them it was for the for the for the sake of surviving for their life was not normal the stage they are in is not normal and then by time you know the Jews they keep following the command of Moses but not always 
the there's tons of stories in the Bible about the Jews not following the command and not obeying God in the time of Moses actually not even long after even in the time of Moses they start being disobedience you know uh, uh, <clears throat> when you are a silly person you try to focus in silly stuff and I say this is silly when somebody focus in pork and shish kebab and hummus the important is what you do to others not what you eat your eat will not involve your salvation have you ever heard of somebody when I say to you if you eat pork you don't go to heaven if you eat hummus you don't go to heaven that is the most silly stupid thing right so it's not food which will save you or will not save you it's not gold it's not silver it's not material it is a spiritual it's your heart it's your mind it's your faith so the one who they are empty they focus in empty stuff like the Jews in the time of Jesus their mouth is dirty they are hypocrite they take interest they abuse the poor they praise the rich they go after women she committed adultery but there's no man because he obviously is rich he's one of them so they will go after the poor woman to stone her so they are hypocrite in everything but they are very clean they wash their hands they dress nice they don't they, they eat kosher food so you will notice that the Jews at that time they are very close to the Muslims now they have too much into appearance of being good but the Lord he says from their fruits you shall know them do you understand not from their food what decide who you are if you are a person who belong to Christ or not it is your fruit not your food and anyone have little brain you do not need to be genius you agree with this who care for the food food is just about your health so you can give advice to somebody says don't eat pork it's not healthy me myself I eat pork because beef is so expensive I mean how I how many time a month I can buy beef or our lamb you know it's really expensive pork is the cheapest and now it's even pork is expensive so if about health I wish I can eat the best food in the world to have healthy food but not always you can afford it there's a million kind of fruits you cannot afford to buy it always you go you know imagine you go to the Philippines and you say to people don't eat pork you have to eat uh, beef those people they are very poor pork uh, pigs is very easy to grow and they have a lot of vegetation so they are not worried about the pigs they will eat uh, dead bodies and Philippines they have a grass they have vegetation all over you know it's it's a uh, it's very humid country a lot of rain same as Indonesia and you know pigs they can reproduce so fast not like a sheep very fast and they grow so fast so but are they the best healthy food no but who said that not other food they are not healthy too I mean there is risk in everything every animal have risk in it even you you know vegetables have risk on them every day we hear about a new disease illness you know they call back for their cabbages you know they found a virus in the carrot they found something in the wheat they find I mean everything well you do not need to give me details I mean some some Asian countries they eat things with you know I don't accept to eat but this is your choice some people they might find things you eat disgusting this is your choice still but for me I don't care what you eat I care what do you do if a person he eat literally shit but he is a good person to me why I should care this is his business
right? What is my business? In Thailand, there is people they eat cockroaches. They eat bugs. Bugs, they eat it. They barbecue it. They eat it. But they are nice people. They never harm me. They never did something, anything wrong to me. When I saw it, it was disgusting. For me, it's disgusting. But but they are nice people. And if I go to the Middle East, Muslims do not eat those things. But I don't trust any of them. You cannot you cannot let a, you cannot let a woman walk around in the street. She will be kidnapped. She will be molested. She will be raped. You go in Thailand, those are not believers, and they are pagans, and they are Buddhist. Yet a woman, she walk alone, nobody do anything to her. So which one is better? You know what I mean? They eat the most unacceptable food. But they are nice. They are friendly. They are peaceful. So which one is better? A true believer who follow Allah and he want to kill everybody or a person he eat bugs but he is peaceful. I think you know the answer, right? The last of my worry is what he eat. This is his business. And you know, in the time of surviving, people eat everything and people, they are being hypocrite when they see about food. You see, because we are spoiled, we say, I'm not going to eat this, I don't eat that. But what if I am in a very poor situation? Trust me, you will eat anything. You know what I mean? Even the Quran says, if you are in need, you can eat pork. Even the Quran says give a license to eat the pork if you have to it's in the front of you do you see it here they say is if you are in a severe hunger not really it says mahmasa which means you are uh, you know in need you eat it you eat pork chapter 5 Verse number three, even the Quran give license to eat pork. And if pork is bad, then you should not eat it at all. So why, if I am hungry, I can eat it? Is, is it dirty then? If it's dirty in Islam, then we should not eat it, doesn't matter. Why we want to eat something dirty when we are hungry? It doesn't make sense. If it's dirty, it's dirty. If it's bad, it's bad. So what the Quran is saying now, what is bad, according to them, can make you survive. So how something can make me survive and live is bad. People who have uh, you know, little decency, they focus in the appearance and they focus in the frame, not the picture. You know, he starts making excuses here and there. I mean, a Muslim suddenly, he, you know, he's questioning Christianity about the pork. This is the problem now. The pork. They have a child marriage. They have multiple marriages. They have muta one day, one hour stand. They have the wajah friend. You can ask a friend to sleep with you and you call it marriage. And then they focus on the pork. All the garbage they do. And now the pork is the problem. That is exactly what is called hypocrisy. So now the one who eat pork is bad. But the one who marries six years old is a good person. The one who beat his wife is a good person, but the one who eat pork is a bad person. The Muslim, they eat lizard. How come lizard is okay, but pork is not? Do you know what lizard eat? Isn't it this is the enemy of Allah? Why you eat him? 
What lizard eat? Guys, what what lizard eat? Somebody tell me. Lizard eat insect. So why the Muslim eat him? If you are against eating something you call any clean, then you should stop eating lizard. Muslims they they eat wild donkeys. Wild donkeys, and before they used to eat even normal donkeys. Yeah, so how you eat lizard? You tell me. Muslim, they drank the blood of Muhammad. Is the blood of a human being lawful? Muslim, they drink the urine of Muhammad. Is urine of a human being lawful? <laughs> You know what I mean? When you see the madness of this religion, a woman she drank the piss of Muhammad. Muhammad he said to her, "No fire will touch your stomach again." So she will go to heaven just because she drank his piss. Yeah, food is not part of the kingdom of God, which means it's not food what will make you a good person. It's not food will make you a, a, a qualified person to be a, a person of God. It is obedience to God and loving others and wish to others what you wish to yourself. From their fruits, you shall know them. I don't want to call this one a sentence is a golden sentence because there's no gold can describe it. From their fruits, this is my favorite verse Jesus said because that is summarize everything Jesus is about. People, they can say whatever. I can talk good, but my fruit is different. People speak good, they do bad. People dress nice. They look clean. But a homeless who did not take a shower for a year, maybe he is better than me and you. Maybe he have a good heart. He is a good-hearted person, better than all of us. What does this have to do with going to heaven? He's homeless. He have no house, he cannot take a shower, he smells so bad. He is literally dirty, but his heart is so clean. Which one of us will go to heaven? I think you know the answer. So a hypocrite, they try to focus in silly stuff, like the Jews in the time of Jesus, and the same as the Mohammedan. They do all kind of ugly stuff, and then they come to school you about silly stuff. I mean, look, you see, the Muslim, they speak about it's not a clean, right? Look, look how Muhammad take a shower, even if like I'm going to stay a little bit longer now. <clears throat> the one who speak about dirty and clean, how their prophet, he take a shower, how he wash his body. Do you know how, where? He jump in a water, have dead dogs and women blood from period. Somebody said this live stream is recording. Well, we record it anyway. Recording, that's silly. Okay. So do you see where Muhammad, he take a shower? So now a Muhammad and he will say to us, oh, pork, and look where Muhammad, he jump. He jump in little tiny body of water in the size of a jacuzzi, have garbage in it. Dead dogs, flesh of meats, not just dead dogs, they became flesh. And stinking garbage. And then the Muslim want to score you about pork. Is he trying to tell us that pork is not clean? Yet he's a prophet, he takes shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period. And stinky garbage, and this is the Muslim translation. Do you see the stupidity? So if the purpose is to be clean, look who is talking. The man who his body is full of lies. Are you getting my point? So when those Muhammadan they speak about pork, 
Ask him, what, what is the pork would do exactly? Is it unclean? He will say, yes, it's unclean. Well, as long as it's about being clean, uh, well, let us see how Muhammad, how clean he is. This is how Muhammad clean is. Pig is better than you. You see, the Muslim, they will say to you, do you know what pig they do? They jump in the mud. Like, what's wrong with the mud? I mean, he's an animal. He's literally an animal. What do you expect? Elephant jump in the mud. There's tons of animals. They jump in the mud to cool themselves. They, they don't jump in the mud because they are dirty, you idiot. They don't sweat. Elephant, they jump in the water, in the mud. Uh, uh, you know, there's many, many animals. But not because they are dirty, but this is how their system is. They need to cool themselves down or they cover themselves with mud so uh, bugs will not bite them. Not because they are dirty. For you, it looks like they are dirty. For them, this is the, the way to live. You see, when God, he created animals, and you know, he said to us in the Old Testament, those animals are not clean. This is not clean about their skin is not clean, they are not taking shower. They are clean, they are not clean, it's not healthy for you. Due to the lifestyle they have, the way, what they eat. But if we can control what they eat, then there is no problem. You know, once I, I was in Romania and there was a beach there. And then I went to the beach. Everybody is covered by, uh, by, uh, by mud. Dark, very dark mud. I look, I said, what is that? And, the, and this mud stink. Very bad smell. So this mud have a, what they call it, the material, the mineral. I forgot the word. I mean, they, but it's it smell bad, but it's very healthy, supposedly. This is what they say. Everybody in the beach is painted with the with the mud, and this mud it turned to be you have to pay for it. It's expensive. It's not like you just uh, like it's in the beach. There's people they are lined up in the beach. They sell mud and cost good money. Sulfur, yeah, sulfur, whatever it is. Anyway, so uh, 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 are they now dirty? They take a shower, they are fine. So a pig is a pig. Chicken is a chicken. And all animals are not clean anyway. If there's any animal is clean, since when? Even a human being is not clean. We sweat, you take a shower after five minutes, you know, if you live in a hot area, you 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 know you sweat again clean is something uh, like you know let's say uh, it's not it's not really i mean the word clean is not really perfect to describe anything because none of us is clean every second inside you there's poop inside you there's inside you if if you take the, your stomach out and you open it for five minutes, the smell in the house will be disgusting for the coming week. This is the truth. So even when you take a shower, you are still not clean. There's boogers in your nose, there's wax in your ears, there's a sweat under your arm, there's a Poo poo in your in your belly and your you know I mean there's food in your stomach there's a, a, a crazy stuff there so you take a shower are you are you clean you are not there's nothing is called clean any idea when rock star will release who is rock star. Do you want, are you asking me to ban you, a boy? So the Muslims, they focus on clean, but look who is their prophet, who is full of lies. I remember once a, a guy, his name is uh, uh, 
Abdullah, what is his name? I forgot his name. I think Osama Abdullah, something like this. Yeah, he came, Christian prince. You Christians, you don't take, uh, don't do evolution. You have lies. I said, well, so lies is bad. He said, sure. Why anyone will have lies if he, you know, if he's not dirty? So I said, okay. So are you sure? He said, yeah. So and then I showed him that he's a prophet. is full of lies. And then he made a video. He made a video proving to me that the prophet is so clean to the point he clean himself from lies. He's asking when a video game is released. What does this have to do with me? Video game. Somebody told you I'm a gamer. Silly people. Usama Abdullah. Yeah. So he made a video and uh, he, he, he like the video is made by five Muslims to refute me. Refuting the lies of a Christian prince, the prophet was so clean and even he cleaned himself from lies. Do you see how clean he is? He's so clean and even, I'm just quoting him, and even he cleaned himself from lies. And now supposedly they are refuting me and proving me to be wrong. But you just admitted that he is full of lies. And he is the same person who said to me, people who have lies are dirty. Otherwise, why they have lies? Right? But it's not because if they eat pork or not, they will go to heaven. It's not eating pork will make you go to heaven or not to go to heaven. Food is not a reason to be bad. You see, when the Bible speaks about the apple, Adam, he ate an apple. Are we allowed to eat apples? Yes, correct. But apple, is apple is dirty? No. Is it a pork? No. So when God, he put Adam in the garden, he said to him, you eat from everything. Do we agree? You did not mention anything about pork. Anything, eat from everything you want. Don't eat from that tree. So the tree is an apple tree, supposedly. But is it really the apple with the problem or disobeying God is the problem? Was the apple dirty? But because it was forbidden for him as a law, obey or disobey. Otherwise, the apple is not important. It's an apple. What is important is you obey me or you disobey me. That is sin, not the food you eat. So if God, he said, if Jesus, he said to us, don't eat pork, even if there is no reason, even if pork is very good, even if there is no health issue, and he said, don't eat pork, and then you know that Jesus, you, you know, you have to obey him, then you have to obey Either you believe in him or you don't. If Jesus never mentioned, then he never mentioned. If God, he says that this is a covenant between me and Israel, then this is a covenant between me and Israel. If he say this is a covenant between me and all mankind, then all mankind have to follow. It's not me who decide, it's not you. It's what God said. In the top of that, food is the last thing to make you from their fruit, you shall know them. You know, did Jesus did Jesus broke the Sabbath? He did. Is that correct? The Sabbath, I mean, what is what is a great what is a greater eating pork or breaking the Sabbath? Not the man was made for Sabbath, and this is what you need to understand. All the rules in the Old Testament or in the New Testament is made for the benefit of the man, not the opposite. 
but the rose is not your salvation the rose is for your survival <clears throat> all right Croatia uh, but again you know the, if you want to be the same as the Pharisees the Jews they focus on silly stuff you know not uh, like you know when the Jews they come to Jesus and they said to him uh, should we pay tax to Caesar you know and they said to themselves if he agree the people would hate him because Caesar is the occupation they are occupied by the, the, the Roman they hate it and if he say no the Roman will arrest him but look how Jesus he said to them and here you see how the intelligence of the high supreme is amazing he said uh, show me your do you have a coins so look at this hypocrite they are asking if they should pay tax to Caesar but they are carrying a currency of Caesar so how you don't want the occupation money and you don't want to deal with the government yet you accept this government money it's like Taliban carrying dollars and they do they, they curse the American they takbir Allahu Akbar Jihad then all the money they have is in dollars <laughs> so shall we pay Caesar uh, Caesar or not so Jesus he said to them well, uh, what this uh, picture there? You know, what is going? What this picture? This is Caesar. He said, okay, give what to Caesar to Caesar. Amazing. I mean, look at those hypocrites. They are questioning if they sh if he should say yes or no about paying tax, but they are the one who have the money of Caesar in their pocket. Uh, so anyway, I mean, don't don't uh, don't be like a, a a child who focus on things. It's not really what make life better, what make life worse. Work is the last problem we have in this earth, and God did not send His Son to save us from pork. That is not a reason. In Islam, no, Jesus will come back to kill the pig. This is how city Islam is. Yeah, we can. You know, we will see when we can do Bible study. But you see, I focus more in Islam because I believe that there's many people they can do Bible study, maybe better than me, way better than maybe. You see, Bible study, you need a better fluent uh, language in English uh, because the book is more deep. And, you know... Uh, I find myself sometimes limited in the way I want to explain uh, the Bible. But in Islam, it's e way easier. I mean, it's a shallow, stupid book. Uh, it's a lot easier to, you know, to deal with it. Uh, you know, a human being like eat eat a pig but don't act like one that's what I care for eat a chicken but don't be chicken this is what I care for friend a dog but don't be a dog this is what I care for but the silly one they focus in silly stuff because they are silly and they are empty and they have vacancies inside them so you know like like a person he borrowed money from you you know so he saw you once in the street and now he knew he feel guilty he knew that he's afraid now he will ask for your money right so he start talking keep talking because he don't want to give you a chance to remember the money you know hey how's your wife how's your uh, daughter oh uh, your son is doing good oh okay you know what i have to go say hello to you know and it's gone he knew that he don't want you to think straight he don't want you to question him so he throw things at you in order not to do, not to do it doing 2v2 what does that 2v2 mean what 2v2 mean 
I'm not sure what 2v2 mean. Yeah, we explain what as unclean mean. Unclean is for a reason. And you know, just to show you the hypocrisy of all people, including even the Jews, the Muslims, and all mankind. So if you want to go by the book, do you eat shrimp? Do, do Jewish people in Israel they eat shrimp? Maybe the Orthodox they don't. But everybody eats shrimp. Do you eat lobster? They spend a lot of money for it. Do you eat shells? Do you eat crab? As I said, in certain uh, 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 position of the life of the Jews they've been given order not to eat for those things are not clean and not safe it's not safe for them it's not what will make them go to heaven or go to hell it is for their safety it is for their health so the silly one he will take it as if it is the way to go to heaven when the God he says unclean unclean what? what does that unclean mean? what does unclean mean? Unclean mean it's unclean for you, not to God. God, He created them. And you know, if you ask, do God knows at that time what is best for those people to survive? They are coming from the desert, running away from the Pharaoh. They lost their way in the desert for many years. Uh, people get sick, people did, you know, uh, just to change the water, they will have diarrhea. Is that correct? People, they change water. If you go from town to town and you drink different water, you will have diarrhea. You will get sickness just for changing the water. So imagine those people, how their life was going in the desert. So always you need to remember, put that in your, in your, in your mind. Think about who we are talking about and when we are talking about them and what kind of life the life they have at that time all right anyway guys i think we have enough for today and feel free to download my video and share it i will keep it in uh, online for some time and there's a video we made yesterday you can find it in patreon you can click at the link there and you can uh, download it too and there is a link there is a video before we made about what Allah is made of, you can see it, it's back online. All right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And Ente, we'll see you soon again. Christ is Lord. And remember, from their fruits you shall know them. And Islam is a very ugly fruit cult. We don't care what the Muslims eat. I don't care even what the Buddhists eat. I care if they have good fruits or not. And if you ask me which one is better, a Muslim who don't eat pork or a Buddhist, which one I trust to live between, which one I trust to sleep in his house, which one I can feel secure and safe with them, I say to you, the Buddhist, not the Muslims. Because those Buddhists, they've never been taught that you should hate someone he is not a Buddhist, or kill somebody is not a Buddhist, or lie to somebody is not Buddhist. So even those who they are pagan, the Buddhist, they wear more supreme with their pagan cult religion from the evil of Islam. Have you ever heard of a Buddhist he do suicide bombing? Have you? Have you ever heard of a Buddhist kidnapping somebody, cutting his head, screaming Buddhist Akbar? Have you? Buddhist is 
we cannot compare them to Muslims following the cult of Muhammad millions of people they go every year to Thailand the only one who make a trouble trouble in a trouble in Thailand is Muslims in the south of Thailand this is the truth and why they do make trouble because of Islam you go around all of Thailand it's safe you go to the Muslim area it's not you go around all the Philippines it's safe you go to the Muslim areas it's not you tell me why and then they want to tell us Islam is a wonderful religion which area you will be kidnapped and nobody will find you after that Muslim area in Philippines Muslim kidnap even Muslims so when the Lord he says from their fruit you shall know them only silly ones they question your food the question is how good are you not how good is your food the hypocrite is the one who focuses in your food nobody is forcing them forcing you to eat their food eat whatever you want And this is what the world is about. It's about hypocrisy. They focus on silly stuff. The same as the Jews, you know, they, they, they swallow the, the, the elephant, you know. They swallow the camel. They don't see it in the cup, you know. And if there is little thing in your cup, ah, look, you have, look, you know, you have a needle, you know, you have a little thing, you know. Uh, they see a needle in your eye, but they don't see the piece of wood in their eye. So don't be like those people. Are you going to be staying in the channel or you will go back to Christian Prince account? Both of them are my channel. It doesn't matter. Does it matter for you? I mean, it's just a stupid um, YouTube channel. Who care about it? This is not a physical address, right? doesn't matter. Here or there, subscribe for both. If we uh, like that one, we have, I think, 90,000. I think this one maybe 80 something. I'm not sure. You know, who care? It's just a place where we meet. If we lose this channel, we meet a different place. Who care? All right? Uh, anyway, I want to say thank you. And until we see you again, I say may the Lord bless you. Download the video, share it. Don't forget to give a like if you like what we do. And we appreciate your support if you like to support. Thank you very much for being here. And may the Lord bless you. Good night. Good day. Take care.